When loading the nose section or the zone one of the aircraft, it's first necessary to activate the auxiliary control panel located at the master cargo control panel. The auxiliary control panel is now armed as indicated by the control active lamp being lit. When loading from the side cargo door, select the side door button. Ensure that the load button is illuminated. Then loading can be commenced. Loading of zone one is a two-man operation. Between the cargo loader located at the auxiliary control panel and a cargo loader at one of the local control panels located at 3R, 5R, and 7R. The pallet to be loaded in position 1A is brought forward into the aircraft to be aligned with the blue index line. Once the pallet is uh, brought into position and pallet 1A has been turned on, sequence 1 has been activated, steer drive is commanded both at the auxiliary control panel and at control panel 5R. The pallet will be brought forward into the aircraft and steered into a 90 degrees orientation with aircraft centerline. After the pallet has been steered into position, then sequence two can be selected and the pallet can be brought into pallet position 1A. Sequence two is now selected. Activating the joystick at the auxiliary control panel in the steer drive direction, along with steer drive switch at control panel 3R, the pallet will be moved forward into pallet position 1A. After the pallet has been loaded into position P1A, the locks can be set. It should be noted that the loading procedures for pallet P2A are identical to P1A, except for the fact that this guide rail has to be up and erected. Once pallet position 1A has been loaded, pallet P2A can now be loaded. This is accomplished by selecting on for the second position, selecting sequence one, activating the joystick in the steer drive position along with the steer drive switch on pallet position or control panel 5R. After making sure that the right-hand side guide rail is up and erected, select sequence two. Activate the joystick in the steer drive direction, along with the steer drive switch located on control panel 3R. The locks can now be set. To load pallet position 2B, first select the on button for the third pallet position. Activate sequence 1. The joystick 
can now be actuated in the steer drive direction in conjunction with the steer drive switch located on control panel 5R. Once the pallet has been steered into proper orientation, sequence two is selected. Steer drive is commanded both at the auxiliary control panel and control panel 5R, and the pallet is moved forward into the aircraft. Before moving the pallet into its final position, it's first necessary to stow the side guide rail and erect the three side restraint locks. To move the pallet into its final position after sequence three has been selected, move the joystick in the steer drive direction along with the steer drive switch located on control panel 5R. After the pallet has been moved to the right-hand side of the aircraft, it is necessary to erect the left-hand side locks. And pallet 2B is now loaded. <laughs> 